Hey guys, it's Jerry. Welcome back to my channel. To start off the Halloween videos, I'm going to be doing like a makeup tutorial. And last year, I actually did do a skeleton makeup tutorial, and you guys really did like. It. So I thought I would do another tutorial this year. And I'm actually doing a tutorial of one of my favourite TV shows ever, American Horror Story. And the character that I'm actually doing this tutorial about is not actually like in the actual show itself. It's just like the thumbnail and like the pictures of Asylum. I'll be showing you guys how you can do a white nun with black tears. And I think this is super scary for Halloween, and especially with white contact lenses, which I had in, and I just think this is such a good thing to go as for Halloween. If you guys do like this video and you want me to do more Halloween videos, definitely give it a like. Let's try and hit 5,000 thumbs up, and subscribe if you're a new viewer. We're actually trying to hit 100,000 anacondas, and we are super, super close, so definitely subscribe if you're not already. And comment down below what you're going to be for Halloween. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So the first thing I did was just put a hat on to put all my hair out the way of my face. The next, I just got a glue stick to flatten down my eyebrows. Then I just got some of this Snazaro face wax, like sculpting stuff. You just need to get like a knife or a spoon or something and dig a bit out. And then I just like rolled this into like a really thin, long, like cylinder shape. Then I just put it on the shape of my eyebrows. Then I just started flattening it down. So then it would make my eyebrows look non-existent on my face. And you can actually paint over this, which is really good. And then I just got some white face paint and a brush and started painting my whole face white. If you use a sponge, this would be so much easier and so much better. I made the mistake of using a brush, but a sponge would just get the paint on really fast and really evenly. After I was happy with coating my face white, just got some white hair like spray stuff. Then I just sprayed my hair white. The character is all white, so you could totally just have white hair for this costume. But I just showed you two ways that you could have the character as. You could either have it as all white hair, or you could have your like white nun headpiece. It's totally up to you. But afterwards, I just went in with some white paint, then just started doing some of the edges of my hairline. And then you want to get any sort of black eyeliner and then just start drawing on the shape of like tears. For this you just want to make it look as like natural as possible and just do little drips. I was obviously copying the image that I was doing. You could totally just try and freehand any tears because the aspect of this is just black tears. So really don't stress about getting it precise. As long as you've got the black tears, I think it's pretty obvious who you're going to be. Then I just went in with some black face paint and first of all I just watered it down a lot. Then I just put it underneath my eye and then just let it drip so then it would kind of look like more teary if you know what I mean like it looks a bit more natural then you just want to fill it in with a more thicker darker black to intensify the tears then after I've let the tears go down my face there are some bits that I needed to remove so I just went in with some white paint and then just corrected them areas and this is kind of just like trial and error you just want to keep dripping it down making it look a bit more natural and then intensifying it then I just went in with a really small angled brush to get that sharp edge but yeah, um, you just want to keep doing this and keep applying more product, then erasing the stuff that you don't like. It does take a bit of time, but I have to say, this is going to look so good when you're done. Now I'm done with the makeup, let's move on to the costume. So the only things you need for the costume are two white t-shirts and some safety pins. And try and get t-shirts that you wouldn't mind getting a bit of paint on, like the paint will wash off. So the first t-shirt I just actually put on and physically wore. And then you just want to safety pin that t-shirt a bit tighter around your neck. And then I just put the other t-shirt on my head to kind of make it look like a nun, whatever they wear over their head. I don't know what it's called precisely. You could totally go buy one of these on eBay, but I just thought having two t-shirts is something that most people would have and you wouldn't have to spend any more money. Where the arm cut are of the t-shirt you just want to stretch this and then you just want to stretch it down to your back and then safety pin it there a stretchy t-shirt would really come in handy but i think this is a really good diy costume after i've safety pinned all my t-shirts then i had a bit of space on my neck where you could still see my skin color so then i just went back in with some white paint and covered that up that is the finished look and the costume and i hope you guys like it I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, you guys know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're a new viewer. We're trying to hit 100,000 anacondas. So if you are a new viewer, you should definitely subscribe. And comment down below what you're going to be for Halloween. If you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, you guys definitely should. And add me on Snapchat. It's Joseph Conza. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love every single one of you guys. 